Why do Nigerians do too much? We do too much. We do too much. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. <laughs> this is the girl with the T, FSWGS. Okay guys, listen, I went out over the weekend and um, I saw a couple of things that really, really irritated me. And I thought I should come and share with you guys on my channel. So please, let me put this disclaimer out there. Whatever I'm going to be talking about right now, I'm not talking about it out of a place of spite or pettiness no but i just i just want i just want to vent i just want to talk about it but before i continue you know how we do it over here if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit the red subscribe button if you are already subscribed and you've not been seeing my videos it's because you've not turned on post notification so to do that click on the white bell button okay it is the button besides this red, red subscribe button. The moment you do that, any video I upload, you get a lot of my videos, okay? All right, let's get into the videos. Sharp, 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 sharp. So, I had a live stream on Saturday where I shared with you guys my near-death experience. I had an accident last week, so I talked about it all on that video. If you missed out on that video, check on my channel, you will see it. It's the last two most recent videos on my channel. Now, um, on that live stream, I mentioned that I had an event to attend that Saturday evening, which I did. Um, I said I was going to do a Get Ready With Me video, but guys, I'm sorry. I, every time I say I want to do that video, I, I end up not doing it because my makeup takes forever. Guys, you see my brows? I, can't, I don't know how to draw my brows. I don't know. I, I, I struggle. It's a real struggle for me to do my makeup. So it takes me like an hour, 30 minutes to do my makeup. It's always a crazy thing to achieve. <laughs> yes, achieve. So guys, every time I'm struggling to draw my brows, do this, do that. It takes me a lot of time. At the end of the day, I end up getting late for the event. And I, the event was supposed to start by 11 in the evening, but I left my house around almost 12 so i got to the event venue by past 12 but that's by the ways so at the end of the night i did not feel many get ready with me video but um i don't know if you can see this is what i was wearing and this is my this is my look and the reason why i'm talking about this is because the event is a house music event now um house music is more of like a spiritual kind of music that's the kind of music i like not like I cannot relate with Nigerian songs when I go to Nigerian clubs. I can totally relate, but if you want to see me in my element, you want to see me when I'm in that seventh heaven, you know, grooving and vibing to a sound, it's house music sound. I have like about six different playlists that last for over two hours each of house music sounds on my phone. And that's basically what I vibe to most of the time in my house. So, this particular event is organized by a group of young guys i think two of them or three of them or more and for every event they choose different locations um it was new to me and saturday was like the second time i was attending their event no or the third time that I was attending their event so i dressed for the event i went for the event i got my ticket i went for the event looking forward to having a great time and then i got there and then i started seeing a lot of drama Okay, before I tell you guys about the drama, let me just play one or two videos of the scenario of the environment I found myself. You know, you guys just go ahead and look at it and I'll come back and talk about the drama.
So that was the environment I found myself. It was very, very interesting, very, very enjoyable, it was fun. And for me, it was sort of like a breath of fresh air because since the whole pandemic in the world started, I haven't really gone out to party to have fun. So this is what this was like a first time. When you go for a typical house music, you don't even have to do Bessé, you don't have to do all those Ninja. <sighs> God, by the time you leave a typical Niger club, you've lost weight <laughs> because all your body has to be moving. It's like going for aerobics in a club. You know, but typical house music, you're just vibing, you know, because you're enjoying the groove. It's all about the sound, speaking to your soul, speaking to your spirit. So guys, that was basically what I was enjoying. I was just listening to the sound, the tunes I was enjoying, I was having fun. But in the course of me looking around, because normally when I go for an event, I first of all observe. I look around, I look out for the nearest exit, yes, in case something happens, <laughs> yes. So I look around me just to observe, to know the faces of people around me, to know what's going on, you know, get in tune with the place and then I settle. So in the course of me looking around, I started noting a couple of things. Now the first things I noticed was a group of young guys who were gay. Now. Don't get me wrong guys, I have nothing whatsoever against the gay people. Whatever you are, whatever your sexual preference is, that is up to you, okay? I don't have any issues towards it. I have no, I have no sentiments towards it at all. It's your choice, it's your life, okay? I have my own sexual preference, so everybody does what works for them. But there was a time I had this conversation with someone and I asked this lady, that, okay, why is it that most guys in Niger who are gay who are just discovering that they are gay or who are trying to come out as being gay why is it that when they go out into the open they try to not like they try they deliberately be in people's faces like you, you see them they're always like they're always snapping their fingers in your faces they're always like you know they, they they always do too much you know so i asked this lady that question and she said oh well you know um they've been hiding in the closet for so long and they're trying to be very very expressive they're trying to come out of their shells and i'm like is that what it really is or is it that they're just trying to be provocative because number one look at look at the look at the stark reality Nigeria is not America. Nigeria is not the UK. Nigeria is not other parts of the world where they have legalized that kind of lifestyle, that kind of sexual preference. So you who has just discovered that, oh, this is who you are and this is who you prefer to be, you find yourself in an environment, in a country where it has not been legalized and people, some people are homophobic, some people are, are, overly sensitive when they see someone who is gay they begin to get in their feelings they get really really upset yeah i mean i've seen a couple of videos where um some guys actually lured a guy who was gay to their house you know um lying to the guy that oh come um i'm going to pay you for it and when the guy gets there five of them they pounced on him and they, they stripped him naked and they were beating him up you know so i asked that lady that okay fine i understand the whole thing about you are just coming out you're just discovering who you are and you're trying to express yourself but isn't there a thin line between being provocative and being expressive you know she was like and hey, you won't blame them anyways guys to cut the long story short that was what i noticed i noticed that at this party about two or three of them who are gay young boys i mean in their early 20s this was what they wore so they wore long flowy jean pants bootcut pants and then they wore shirts and then they tied the shirts on their tummy on their chest and then they opened their chest and then they wore earrings they wore earrings and one of them drew his eyebrow and then carried the handbag and wore high boots that were like heels they basically dressed like a female so they came to the party and they were dancing and then they were doing guys i find it very very interesting when i see guys who express themselves like that in dancing like that so it was very very fun for me but at the same time i was very very scared for them i was scared for their safety i was scared for what was going to happen to these people because guys <laughs> this is nigeria nigeria is not ready nigeria is not ready to see such expressiveness such expressions 
Nigeria is not ready. You know, I was scared. Guys, let me know. Like, I was scared for the safety of these guys. I was just looking at them. One minute I would turn, another minute I would have my own phone, and then sometimes they will walk past me. And the way they walk, they strut as if they are walking on the wrong way. I say, oh, yes. Rocket sister, <laughs> the world is your runway, you know. But overall, for me, I just felt like they were doing too much because, hey, there are a lot of people walking around with their own lifestyle in their head, or they are walking around with what they would rather be or how they want to carry their lives. I don't know how to put it, but there are a lot of people who are that way. And what I have seen so far is they just peacefully live their life. Like in that same party, I saw two guys who obviously were gay but the way they were dressed they were dressed they were dressed just on inconspicuously gosh i'm struggling so much guys i'm struggling so much looking for the right words to use they weren't dressed too obviously i mean they dressed they dressed inconspicuously not to draw attention to themselves yeah they dress in a way that would not be, make people start looking at them and pointing fingers at oh this is who you are this is who you are this is who you are this. you know that kind of thing and i also told myself that hey this is a house music party this is not like a drag party a drag party is like where you know everybody probably almost everybody there is gay and then they want to dress like females they want to do like a pageant or something like that so i just told myself that okay fine listen it's okay to be who you are to be who you want to be do what you want to do but do you really have to be provocated anyways guys that was why i said that nigerians would do too much because those people basically were doing too much we're doing too much and i was just scared for them so this was what i observed at the party and i thought i should come and talk about it with you guys so i want to know what your thoughts are i want to know what your opinion is on this issue it's not really an issue but it's just a matter that exists okay so guys let me know in the comment section below what is your opinion what are your thoughts regarding how um the gay community in nigeria how they dress how they come out in public is it that they are just being plain expressive or do you think they're being very very provocative what advice do you have for them what do you have to say regarding them coming out and then they're always snapping their fingers in people's faces and doing all whatnot i'm not saying that that's how all of them are but the ones that i have encountered that is basically what they how they carry themselves how they express themselves so guys just let me know what you think in the comment section below and i will respond to all of you that's it that's all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory thank you guys so much for watching i promise that one day soon i will do a get ready with me video i really need you guys to see how much i struggle with my makeup i really need you guys to see how much i struggle you know when i want to go out okay that's all have a nice day bye